Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, Naturally Sade. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. As you can see from the title of this video or from my hair, if you didn't look at the title, this is gonna be a tutorial for DIY box braids. Yes. I did these myself and I am gonna show you real quick how you can do them yourself as well. But first things first, I just wanna say that this is really easy and really simple. If you know how to braid and you know, if you can do single braids, um, you don't even know how to, how to do flat braids like French braids or Dutch braid style, just any kind of braiding, then you can do this. I have never done this before and I was able to do it. So if I can do it, you can do it too. <laughs> However, it is very time consuming. I did not realize how long this would take me. This took me all day to do my hair. And granted, I didn't mean to do as many as I did, but I don't even know how many, to be honest. I didn't even count because ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> but I did more, way more than I had originally intended to do, um, but it still took a long time. Um, what you may not realize if you've never done this before is the actual hair that you buy. What, takes, what took the most time for me, it felt like, was separating all the hair. So each packet that you get, you separate your hair, you um, feather the ends, and yeah, just get it ready for your, each braid that you're gonna do. Um, so that took a while. I used a total of 12 packs of hair. So I have the little um, tags from the packs that I used. This hair, this was the blonde, the really light blonde that's in my hair. I would not recommend this brand or this hair. I didn't like it. It was kind of rough, um, but like I said, it's my first time, so I didn't know. And then the darker color that you see combined in my hair was this brand. It's Rasta Free. And this was like a mix. Um, which I will have the brands and the colors for each one that I used in the description box below. But this one I really, really liked. Um, it was silky and just like, it was just better. It felt better as opposed to the other. So I used four packets of these and eight packets of this one. First thing I did before I did anything to my hair was I deep conditioned it because I planned on having this for at least two weeks to a month. And now I'm leaning towards the two weeks because these are heavy. <laughs> and you know, it takes a while to get used to to sleep in. So just a little disclaimer there, if you've never had this done before, um, you know, there's there's a couple things for you to know there. I deep conditioned my hair and I put a leave-in conditioner and, and the rest you will see in the tutorial. So let's get into it. Starting out with my strand already parted, I'm applying some Let's Jam Extra Hold hair gel to my edges. And then I'm just gonna secure the section with an elastic band, but not too tightly. Next, I'm just spritzing my hair with some water and brushing it out since there's already some leave-in conditioner in it. I'm also gonna apply a little bit of the Let's Jam hair gel to the strand as well. Next, I'm just feathering the ends of the hair and I'm just gonna be brushing it out so it's nice and smooth and ready for the braid. Grabbing the middle of the hair, I'm putting it over the section hair right above the elastic band. 
and I'm just gonna wrap it around to create three legs or sections of hair for the braid. One that is my hair and the two others that are the synthetic hair. And I'm just gonna start braiding down. Once you start braiding down to the middle of your actual hair, you can start adding in hair from the other two strands to make it even. Once I got to the end, I used a straightener to seal the ends. You can also choose to boil some water and dip your ends in the hair for a couple of seconds, but I tried that and it just didn't work for me, so this method worked better. I cleaned them up with some scissors. Actually, I'm using my kitchen shears, which I never use in the kitchen, <laughs> but kitchen shears or scissors will do just fine. And just repeat the same steps for each section of your hair. And these are my results. And I also backed up a little bit just so you could see how long the hair is. All right. <laughs> so that is it it was a really short little tutorial it's really easy if you know how to braid then you can do it pretty basic pretty simple straight to the point i hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did and if you want to see more videos like this <laughs> then please give this video a thumbs up and if you want to see more from moi then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and also hit that little bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.